that we call in your radical, how great is this piece of art? But I'm going to talk about our activism, where the Post Ignorance Project is going forward. I want to talk about the so-called mystery goo that's in the San Francisco Bay that's killing the birds, the dead eagles, these mystery diseases. How long are we going to stay in denial? The dead starfish. The eagles have not come back. And people say, oh, they go with them. This is a thousand years they've been, more than that. We know that even longer than that. You know, as they tried to, I just had a really great conversation. You know, we want to talk about, oh, Jim Bridger discovered the grace. I don't think so, Father Escalani. You know, I want to talk about rewriting history. I want to talk about the truth. You go into denial. As my activism, I'll be in New York City. I believe I land the 26th of February. Now, we'll be at Helen Caldecott Symposium the 28th of February, March 1st. I plan on doing a little gig, maybe the 27th, at the Metropolitan and the MoMA. You know, we're going to do a little protest over there in front of the Museum of Natural History, as right here, Wallace Stegner, right here where I'm standing on the university. I was in his program. You think the Germans invented genocide? You know nothing about the American West. Nothing. That's why that's so important where I go in California, as we're going to go to ground zero. I'll be at Diablo Canyon, 3-11-11. Avila Pier is where we'll meet, out in the street and on the beach. That's where I'll be, and then I'm going to start my walk. I'm going to walk along the coast, along the beaches. I'm going to videotape it all of it, because that is ground zero for the Pacific Genocide. And that's what this is, the Pacific Genocide. So that's where we're going to go. You know, my suit pants, I wore holes in these shoes. You know, you know, as I use the soup can, you know my gig on the soup can. And as it is not the painting of the soup can, the idea to paint the soup can, but then you have to paint the soup can. You know, that's the point. As activists, yeah, we use YouTube. YouTube's an incredible, incredible, powerful genre. We use literature. This is the modern day, you know, I write. I do every tool I can, but I'm actually in the street, and I have been in the street the entire time. I've been in Knoxville, Tennessee, you know, supporting Megan Rice. I'm going to try to go see Megan again. I've been on Atlantic Avenue many times. I've, I've been up and down that coast, walked it, walked the holes in my shoes. Why? I want people to understand, while in very critical condition. I was given two months to live on in October of 2011. And I want people to understand, I am very, 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 very grateful to be alive. Very grateful to be alive. When doctors walk, I mean, I was perfectly healthy one day. Fukushima's gonna give you leukemia, it's gonna give you leukemia, rant and rave in a very intense way, then boom, one day I get sick, got that food poison. You know, on a Friday afternoon when a doctor walks into your room, and says, Kevin, it's bad, you're full of cancer, and you know, we think it's in your liver, and you know, just like that, I think you'll be dead by Christmas. Next doctor comes in later on, maybe by Christmas, probably as long as you have. Over and over and over, I was told by many people, when that happens to a person, I want people to understand how devastating that is. I think that's a human emotion. I don't think I had no clue. You know, I watched my father die, nuked to death in the Nevada test site. I've been walking this my whole life. You know, as all these great activists stood right here, right here, right here on this university with me. You know, this is my place, Wallace Sticker, Edward Abbey. You know, Keller Gallagher, who's still alive and well, American Grounds, they came here for a reason. None of them were from here. I'm from here. I'm sixth generation. The very first so-called Mormon, and I'm not one of these guys that said, oh, he's the one that discovered you. Oh, I don't think so. You know, Father Escalante, you know, and these, you know, the Spaniards lived in harmony in San Diego, you know, for very good reason. You know, the, the Aztecs, the, the pillage, the rape, all of them. You know, we're going to talk about the reality. You're not going to rewrite history with me. You know, I found that leather buck. I found that on Oceanside on the beach. It's very real. It's very old. It's very, very spiritual. I still understand. The Mexican people, I think, still understand some of them in Mexico. And I think because those cultures still talk about the incredible, powerful romance and the blue lady, how powerful she is. I mean, people eat out of it. And what we're doing to that Mystery diseases, goo killing the birds. Mystery diseases killing the starfish. Mystery diseases, sea lions having seizures. Mystery diseases, it's all mystery diseases. It's rewriting history, but it's not going to work because what's the byproduct of this? 
just what I have. It's leukemia. You know, I got a miracle. It's a miracle I'm alive. Central lane in my juggler. You know, I went from 173 to 120 pounds like that. I mean, I look back on it, wow. What a journey in my activism up and down the coast of California, reporting the Pacific Genocide in New York City, in Knoxville, Tennessee, in Eugene, Oregon. I mean, so many places up and down. We're going to document this in history because it's not the idea to paint the soup can. It's not the idea to build a soup can out of soup cans. It's the building of the soup can. And that's what I've done for three years. I've built the soup can. I've been out there freaking in the street working. I understand what Warhol, I knew what Jackson Pollock did. I understand. Art is the recording of history. It is everything. Post ignorance is the idea of post ignorance came right on this university. Right there, right there where I stood that my movement, which has been in the making for decades. So that's where we'll be. And so New York City, the 26th, the plan on maybe doing a little bit, 27th, maybe Washington Square. Watch you know the websites and this vlog as we'll set the forward going. And then we'll from New York City maybe to Eugene, Oregon. The University of Oregon has had a radio show. I've been invited to possibly speak on their panel. Wow. Then, uh, but I'll definitely be at Diablo Canyon on 3, 11, 11, and then I'm walking all the way up that beautiful, incredible coast, and I'm going to document the mystery goo, you know, the wells, the sea lions, the starfish, I mean, that's ground zero, the greatest ecosystem on the face of the earth, no doubt in my mind. No doubt in my mind is right there and always has been. And, you know, as we genocide it and kill it, and we go into now, you think you're on the winning team? <laughs> the bottom line is this, Pacific Ocean overcome it? I don't know. I, I believe in her. As I fight for her, she fights for me. But the bottom line is it's cancer. It is cancer to humans. And you can go in denial and you can defend all you want. My little granddaughter gave me that. I held that in my hand when I was in critical condition going in and out of coma in the bone marrow transplant. I mean, I held on to it. I never let it out of my hand. She was two when she gave me that. You know, so I'm a big believer in my Pacific. And I will put this quote up, John Kennedy. That's everything that needs to be said. And this walk will be in honor of all the activists that have fought before me. You know, Rachel Carson, Rachel Carson, Rachel Carson. If you don't think one person make, can make a difference, you don't know anything about Rachel Carson. So, the conscious walk, you know, I have hope for the young generation. I have a lot of hope. I have a lot of hope. And we need to pivot. I said in 10, 10, 10 in my book, Post Ignorance, on my PhD, if we don't pivot right now, it's going to swallow us whole. I was leading up to the shirtwaist fire, the 100th anniversary of Washington Square, but something happened on the way to that place. They threw an American nuclearism flag in our face. Two weeks before that event happened, 3 11 11. Popism is dead, and I saw who killed it. I saw who killed it. Post ignorance is the next movement. And it's all about consciousness. It's all about not the idea to paint the soup can but the painting of the soup can, but you have to paint the soup can, and that's hard work. But I want people to understand, fighting for the earth and being an activist and being out in the street doing there is a very happy spiritual place. And I'm very, very happy to be alive. I'm very, very happy to live, and I'm very alive. One day at a time. Stand tuned.